When you launch Streamlabs desktop for the very first time, a welcome screen will ask you if you plan on streaming or only recording with the software. I want to use it for streaming, so I'll select the live streaming option and click continue. The next window allows you to choose which streaming platform you plan to stream to. Whether you plan on streaming to Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, the steps are mostly the same and you're able to connect your account to make it even simpler. I'm going to connect my Twitch account because that's where I'll be streaming. On the next screen, we have a choice to either import scenes from OBS Studio or start fresh. I don't have scenes I can import from OBS, so I'll choose the start fresh option. The next window allows you to set up your microphone and a webcam. If you plan on using a webcam, you can make sure it's plugged in and selected from the drop down menu if it isn't already. From the microphone drop down, select the microphone you plan on using and click continue. The next window asks if you want Streamlabs Desktop to run a test on your internet speed and your computer hardware to optimize the settings for you. Click start and let it do its magic. Once completed, the screen will offer you a choice between two Streamlabs plans. Since I don't plan on using any of the Ultra features, I'll choose the current plan option. Now we're ready to move on to the next step.